God himself in Exodus chapter 20, verse 1 and 2, referred to himself as a jealous God. Referred to himself as a jealous God. What does that mean? God is trying to tell us that he owns the right to our lives. He owns the control package to my life, to your life, to the life of each and every one of us. He controls the package. He owns the control package. That means that is to say, you and I belong solely and wholly to him. We belong to him totally. God created us that we will become his glory. So we are his glory. And he said his glory he will not give to another. God doesn't want to give you to another. God doesn't want to give you to the, a graven image. Either that graven image is a human being, or that that graven image is your husband, your wife, or your children. God does not want to give you up to a graven image. Because any, what is graven image? Graven image is anything that is created, that not the creator. So anytime you make yourself, you give yourself up to something that is created, you will be broken, you will be shattered, you will be disappointed, you will be disillusioned, and you will be totally ruined. It will ruin you. So by the time you begin to uh, surrender yourself and offer yourself and sacrifice and, uh, and, and uh, worship, worship something else than, than him. I mean, it doesn't mean you worship or pray to them, but by the time you honor something else, by the time you love something and and uh, you are more attached to something other than God, that is regarded as an idol in the eyes of God. And God begins to feel jealous. God begins to uh, envy. God begins to be reveal his, his nature of jealousy. God begins to fight for you and begin to say, no, I created you. You belong to me. And if you want to go and all be sacrificing yourself or worshiping or be giving up yourself to something else, then it's time to lose that thing.